the way I see it is that a reference is basically anything around you. So you can use a photo as a reference, you can use the world around you as a reference, and to me it's all basically the same. The trick to it is to use the reference for your purposes and don't copy it. You know, if you're going to copy a photograph, you might as well just use the photograph. Um, I don't see a point to that. So what you're looking for is the elements of the photograph that get you an interesting drawing. And that means you're going to select things that you need and eliminate things that you don't. And that's really up to you and you have to develop ways of doing that. You also have to simplify and be able to translate your two-dimensional photograph into things that will create the sense of three-dimensional form in your drawing. And it's a little bit easier using actual objects in the world to decide what what overlaps what and how things are dimensional. Um, so using some experience from drawing things from life and in person will make it easier to use photographic references. So if you spend some time doing that, um, that will help a lot. And one of the things that I'm doing with this particular reference here is exaggerating some layers and I've eliminated some other things. I've eliminated this tree on the left um, and I've kind of simplified the blocky shapes of these rocks. I've also kind of added a plane so they make a little bit more sense and I'm going to use the clouds a little bit to kind of get some interest in the background but I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail. And then to kind of finish off the sketch, I'm just going to go and emphasize some contours and some overlaps, um, keeping it very simple and and um, sketch-like and not necessarily a finished piece. To do a finished piece, you might want to do something even more developed. You know, if you're using a figure as a reference, that goes double to not copy the reference. There's so many people out there who just copy a photograph and it's like they're a human camera. So instead you want to exaggerate, use proportions and draw out some attitude from the photo that you can't get if you just purely copy. Um, you know, you're going to apply the drawing techniques that you know about overlap, simplification, uh, complex contours and uh, value and emphasize the things that you that you know as well as what you see from the photograph and you're going to make changes uh, to the photograph accordingly um, in ways that you deem sort of more effective and you're going to create something that's a little bit different than the photograph but that's kind of the point you know when you're done you're going to be left with the drawing no one's going to go back and measure it against the photograph that you took so that's the approach you should take with references.